Okay, in Python uh, it's very useful for very boring stuff, as you know. Uh, let's make an example here. We got this table here with uh, a lot of data in Excel. We could have a lot more like this. Okay, let's just duplicate it just so um, this could be the names of some students. This can be some evaluation, some other stuff. And let's take this and see uh, what we want to do. We want to make this at the end. Let me show you what is the result. And I want to put for every student all this data here in the, this text. And it will be very boring to do it uh, by hand again, uh, doing, having to put them in this in this way. So I just what I do, I grab this data here, and I copy and paste here in my code here where I get this data. Okay, now I got all this data here with the names. These are just examples. And I use the multi-line here so that I can write them this way. Um, you see here I applied the split lines method to the multi-line strings so that it will uh, have um, this thing here. Let me let me show you what this multi-line will be. And if we print now uh, this one, this data, let me see without this, we will have, uh, sorry, we will have um, We will have this. As you see, each um, this is a string where the first one is empty, and then we have we have a string here with all the data separated by a this slash t thing. Okay, that is a tab, and uh, so this is what we have here. We have a list of strings. Uh, I don't want to have the first one, so I'm going to get rid of it starting from 1 instead of 0 until the end. So if I print it now, you see there isn't any more the empty string above. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's create another list here called data2. And for d in data, I mean for for each string, I could have said each each string in data, that is this thing here, I'm gonna I'm gonna append to this new list my each string split it by t. So um, in this data 2 here we will have for each one of this string a list of single items separated by the T. And I will show also this one too. Let me show you what is uh, data 2 now. Now data 2 is this. You see each string has been transformed in a list of the data with the name and then the data. Okay, now that we got all the data in this uh, form, I just can do this. I just can mm, make my blueprint of what I want to write. So I copy and paste um, this thing here, what I need to write, and uh, where my data goes and then I have put this thing here. Let me, this is a multi-line string too. 
Okay. And so this is something, blah, 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 that I wrote at the start. And uh, you see here, the first data here, it's the name of the student that goes up here. Then there is uh, what we say, da, 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 and column, and then we have in a table. I made this table because I wanted to print the result in a, in an HTML, HTML file because it's easy to create the data with it, right? So we have the, the each cell here. This is the first cell with the date the first data this is this one number two for the first then we have another data here here and then this tr table row it means that goes to another row of the table and so on and all the data will go here 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 and here until the end we close the table and we put a space under the table so that it is more aligned so I just copied and paste this put the squares uh, in every data that I need to take from here for each student then uh, I close at the table and then I'm gonna to format this uh, this multi-line string here so that we get all the data inside so I create a string here called the HTML and for pupils in data 2, it means for each one of these, I'm gonna to um, apply the format to this string with the uh, format with at the format dot pupils. So pupils, what it is, is this. It's Artena, Maria Pia, 2, 2, 3, 3, etc this list and so I'm gonna to insert this list the first list um, into this into this multi-line string with this asterisk it means that the list will be um, divided uh, unpacked and starting from the name and the other values down here for the first one pupil then as data 2, that is this, contains all the pupils data, it will pass to the second until the last one and so it will add each one of these string into HTML so that HTML will be the page, the HTML page with every student in it. And then I'm gonna use this uh, create file, that is a file of mine uh, a module of mine that I created just to save uh, this uh, this data into this file but if you and I imported it here I think I got it somewhere in uh, one video how I did it if you don't want to use it create file you just can do this let me comment this and you can do with, with open data2.html in a writing mode and a coding equal utf8 as file you are going to file dot write sorry write um, html then you go out and do os um, start file data 2html that's all that it that this line did and you just have to import OS at the start and you, you will have the same result so let's let's see what if the code works and here it is the result these are all the same because we just copied and pasted some of, the, of them. You got all the, this is the student, this is the blah 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 at the start, and this is all the data put in here, as you can see. 19, 18 is the last one, 20. If you go and check it, and check here, we will see that the first one, the last 
it's 19, 18, 20. Okay, and so it's all right. So with this simple code, you can just go and make your file that will uh, cost a lot of time to copy and paste manually and then go here and uh, put data and then line it, etc, etc. You can also use this in Word. Of course, you go open Word and just copy and paste it. So you see it's all aligned because of the HTML. Instead, if I had used uh, print and then uh, with this instead of this and then copied and pasted in words you would have uh, problems with um, with the alignment of this and I so I did it this before but then I changed it and I made it this so it's very clear where I need it and you see if you have got a lot of data you will uh, save a lot of time so that's all this is uh, just a way to do something uh, easily with Python, something that it takes a long time, and this is the way I um, I did it for my own purpose that I wanted to share with you. Thank you. If you want, subscribe to my channel. So I'm encouraged to make other videos like this. And uh, for now, see ya.